Good morning. Cat here. Vegas Fruity. Saturday morning. And I am working on my second banana here um, for me to have. And then I'll have some more breakfast when I get home. But I'm just taking off right now because <clears throat> I got an email from Gilcrease Orchard in town. It's on the outskirts of town. And um, they, are, they said that their um, season is open for picking. And um, today's their first day. They have like all these different types of kale, baby bok choy, all these different types of greens. And <clears throat> they're like $2 a pound, which is a little higher than uh, some places, but it's really good quality produce. So you pick it yourself. And um, it's just really nice, you know, to go there once in a while and be able to pick the produce. And um, it kind of reminds me of, you know, from where we're from back home. And we're from the agricultural center of um, California. And, <clears throat> you know, we don't get to do things like this much out here in Las Vegas. So it just kind of like, I don't know, reminds me of, you know, of home. And it kind of, um, it's kind of nice to pick your own stuff. It brings you down to earth again, you know what I mean? And reminds you of, of where everything comes from. And, um, you know, I... It's, it's nice to be able to go to the store and buy your veggies there and stuff, but, you know, what an experience to be able to pick it yourself, you know, if you don't have your own garden. Um, so anyway, I'm heading to do that now. And uh, the movie last night, McFarland, that we saw, I very, I very much highly recommend it. It's probably going to be one of those overlooked films of the year. Um, it stars Kevin Costner in it. Really good film really good film um it just has a whole lot of wonderful life lessons that i think a lot of people would appreciate and i certainly did my husband loved it too and um so i'm glad we saw it i do recommend it um i don't want to talk about it because i don't want to give you any spoilers but um anyway later today i am so excited because i actually get to go back to the spa today i i i went there once last year at one of the hotels they have a really nice spa and my husband had given me a package i think it was for my birthday and um and so this year he had surprised me on valentine's day with another spa package and so um, the reservations were for today and so I get to go um, and have a back massage with the hot stones and, you know, a facial C-wrap or whatever it's called. And, and um, get to have a pedicure. And it's just, you know, you get to hang out in the spa and then go into the jacuzzis and stuff. And it's really nice and super relaxing. And I'm just so grateful. I mean, that was just, it was really, really kind of him and so generous. And, and here I was complaining about his plastic cups the other day. And um, I just love him so much. He's uh, such a wonderful best friend, you know. So I'm very grateful for that. So um, I don't know if I can take you in there. Last time, I, I don't think they really wanted us filming in there. So, um, so we'll see. But anyway, I couldn't find my sunglasses this morning. So these are all scratched up. Actually, I'm wearing my kids' play glasses. I found them in the diaper bag. And, and um, so I can hardly see out of them. But... At least they keep the sun down. So I will see you soon. <laughs> so here's the orchard, and it's a long ways. Usually you could drive in here, but they said they didn't want anybody driving today. So I've got to walk way down there to the produce. I don't know if you can see that, but all these beautiful trees are in bloom, and I think they're, um, they might be apple. They have apple and pear out here, peaches, and. Um, some different things. Look at all this kale, this wonderful kale. It goes on for like miles and what's really sad is that a lot of people won't pick this and it'll go to waste because they don't like, you know, the kale. Um, but it's like gold. <laughs> it's like gold to me. All right, so I'm walking down a little further because somebody just told me there was spinach and um, Broccoli kale, I guess, from the same plant, broccoli ribe, I guess, um, and turnips. I don't know if you can see those cute little ladybugs. I really do think these are going to make the most extraordinary kale chips ever. I mean, look at this. Look at these sweet, beautiful, tender leaves. Oh, my goodness. It's so amazing. Look at all the, all the kale that's here. I mean, nobody's picking. 
seeing it. It's just crazy. And over here, these babies right here, have got turnips. Look at these big turnips here. I don't know if these are the good ones to pick here. Maybe I should put some smaller ones, but they're definitely ready. Look how beautiful they are. All right, so here's my haul. I brought it home. I got this huge bag of this beautiful um, spinach, and it is just so nice. It's really, really nice. Good fresh leaves. Lots of the baby kale, as you saw out there in the field, and lots of the broccoli wave. Um, little tender leaves in here just lots and lots of it and um, I've got more kale and I picked some I found some really wonderful dandelion greens growing out there so I picked those two and I got a bunch of um, beautiful turnips and there's a lady there that had beets but I totally missed the beets so it kind of stinks you want to smell a turnip you want to smell a turnip Bella likes to smell produce does that smell good she loves the smell of dirt I guess <laughs> Good job. Okay, so I'm all done. Uh, I went to the spa today and it was just so nice. It was just really kind of my husband to treat me like that. And um, I had a really relaxing time. And it's time to get back to work. Um, I'm very hungry and I miss my family. <laughs> so I'm going to go home and um, make something to eat. So I'm not quite sure what that's going to be at this point. But um, anyway tomorrow Sunday and I will tell you whether or not tomorrow I've decided to continue uh, on raw for another week or go back to cooked vegan um, and why I decided either one so um, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and I will see you soon all right bye everybody